Greetings, I'm Lauren Marsh. I'd like to review with you the Canvas interface, as well as some of the tools and functionality that make this a powerful teaching and learning environment. In Canvas, let's start on the far left. This maroon bar is the global navigation menu. The global navigation menu is always visible and always offers the same tools and features independent of individual course settings. So let's start here with account. Under account, we have profile. Here you can upload an image of yourself, which is always a good practice for you and your students in this environment. We also have settings. And this is where you can determine how you receive information. For instance, you could specify another email address. And we have notifications, which allows you and your students to specify how often you like to receive notifications. Now let's go into the dashboard. This is the Canvas dashboard. It is the first screen that you'll see when you log into Canvas. This is a course card and you can customize course cards. You see that you can, for instance, uh, change the color. And this makes it easy for you to come into the dashboard and scan and find your courses. Uh, notice these icons. Uh, these are shortcuts to course content and activities. Shortcuts will be an ongoing theme as we talk about Canvas. For instance, this global to-do list gives me access to content in all my Canvas courses. Now, by default, the dashboard displays the first 20 courses as determined by a sort that takes into account both your course role and the course's title. But we can customize the dashboard and I'll, I'll show you how to do that. We're going into courses now. Under courses, you'll find your courses in a list format. I'm going into all courses. Now notice these stars. If I star a course, I've made it a favorite. And this is how I customize my dashboard. Only my favorite courses will appear there. Let me go back into the dashboard now. And here you see that I have uh, two courses appearing. This is especially useful when you're using a mobile device. Marking a course as a favorite makes it easy to navigate on a phone, for instance. Let's look at the calendar. And because this is the global navigation menu, I have access to all my course calendars. Notice that I can select and deselect them. All assignments associated with the due date appear on the course calendar. And if uh, an assignment, if an assignment has not been given a due date, it will appear here in the undated area. To change a due date, I can simply click and drag a calendar entry to a new date and uh, that will update the, the due date on this assignment. Also, if I want to change this assignment, uh, move it to the next month, I can do that simply by coming to this small calendar in the corner here. I'm going to move that forward to February. Now I can click and drag this from January 19th, and let's say I'm going to drop it onto February 6th. This is a very powerful and flexible tool. Uh, I want to point out that uh, besides adding assignments to a calendar, I can also drop events on a calendar. Events are dated entries that appear on students' calendars but do not have an associated course assignment. The next item on our global navigation menu is the inbox. To compose a message, I click on this small quill over here, uh, and then I'm able to choose from all of my classes. And notice that uh, I'm able to, uh, to choose a recipient by role. And if I choose students, I can send this message to all of my students, or I can select an individual student. I also want to point out to you that you can add media. You could, uh, for instance, record your message and send it to your students, or even create a talking head video. 
the inbox pushes email to you or your student's university email account and archives email in Canvas sorted by course. If you want your students to communicate with you through the Canvas inbox, you should make this clear on your syllabus. The Commons is a learning object repository. You can share or find an assignment, a module, or even a course template. If you share an item in the Commons, you can make it private or share with the University of Minnesota. If you and your colleagues decide to use the Commons, the key to success is agreeing on naming conventions. And let me point out here that uh, if you show public resources, you have a very large a repository of information to choose from, and if you turn off Show Public Resources, then you have narrowed your selection considerably and actually made it easier to find things. Canvas Help provides ample support for you and your students, so explore these links and find guides, how-to articles, and videos that will support you in your use of Canvas.